Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. This is the first view of Hawaii on the Carnival Splendor. Uh, we left Seattle and this is the first land we saw in like six, seven days. This was a bucket list trip for me. And pulling into Honolulu, it was as beautiful as I thought it would be. Uh, it was incredible. I was amazed by how, at the beauty of Honolulu. The one thing I wanted to do most of all was visit Pearl Harbor. It's always been a, a dream of mine since I can remember since high school, always going to the Pearl Harbor Memorial. Right here, you're looking at the anchor from the USS Arizona, uh, a ship that was sank during the Pearl Harbor attack. And later on, we'll be going by and seeing the memorial uh, for that ship. These blocks are showing some of the survivors uh, from the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. The mountains you see in the background are the mountains that the Japanese came over to confuse the radars for this area. I can only imagine what the, uh, the fear in the, the soldiers' eyes, the sailors' eyes, at the time of seeing this attack. This is still an active naval base. You can see one of the ships in the background that is still manned to this day.
songs that you see in front of you list the names of the soldiers or some of the soldiers that didn't survive this attack. The submarine that you see in front of you is the USS Bowfin. It was commissioned in 1942, just after the attack. They built this ship. And it is, it's now it's out of commission, but they do allow you to take tours of it, which we will be doing shortly. This is the boarding of the USS Bowfin, uh, the submarine that we saw earlier. As I said, it was commissioned in 1942. It's out of commission now and just for tours.
One of the things that struck me during the tours were the number of cots that were just placed everywhere. Uh, every, almost every available place, they would lay, have a cot for somebody to sleep. This definitely wasn't a place if you were claustrophobic, which I am. Uh, could you imagine being under all that water, stuck down here in this tiny ship or submarine? scene is so peaceful, it's so hard to imagine the morning of December 7th of um, what was going on here. This is a boat ride to the USS Arizona the Memorial Site. And if you could try to imagine that this bay was full of, of warships at the time when the Japanese attacked on December 7th, 
and the horror that was coming. Uh, nobody, nobody could predict that that was going to happen. We are now entering the USS Memorial and the ship that you see underwater is the USS Arizona. Um, they didn't raise it up, they didn't recover bodies, this is the actual memorial. May God bless their souls.